Somebody just noticed some smoke coming out of the back doors. I'm gonna see if 19 crew is able to hit it from that location in the kitchen. I was actually waiting on the customers when they when somebody yelled fire and then I just told all of them to get out. 19 inside. The window to the back door was glowing. You got a heavy fire right behind you on the right side. The whole thing was like engulfed in flames. I just thought it was like a little start and uh, I seen a whole bunch of smoke coming out. Truck five. Truck five far. We grabbed fire extinguishers and started trying to put it out, but it was it was just gone. Back out, completely out of the building. I'm going to use uh, truck five. We're going to see if we can knock down that middle section of fire. Shut that line down on side one. 16 screw making entry on side one. I guess I'm going to have to find a new job. President Bush looked prepared for the Gulf Coast heated humidity. He walked into the Pensacola Civic Center without a tie and with his shirt sleeves rolled up. You know you're in good country when you got a guy holding a sign up that says Bubba's for Bush. More than 8,000 supporters filled the Civic Center. They waved signs and erupted in thunderous applause numerous times during the president's 45-minute speech. He touched on themes heard on previous campaign stumps, focusing a lot on his military record as commander-in-chief. It was a crowd pleaser in this naval town. We must engage these enemies around the world so we do not have to face them here at home. The president was joined by his former opponent, Senator John McCain, as well as GOP leaders from throughout the Sunshine State. The sign says Florida is Bush country, but missing from today's Republican rally is the state's top Republican, Governor Jeb Bush. The president, however, had an excuse for his absentee brother. He's working. He, he's doing what you want him to do. I thought it was the most incredible thing I've ever experienced, and I shook his hand. It was awesome. Very awesome. Best thing I'd ever done in my life. See the President of the United States here in Pensacola. Five-year-old Jonathan is too young to understand many of the issues voters face, but he does know something many adults don't know, the words to the official presidential song. Hail to the chief we have chosen for the nation. Hail to... The chief, we salute him one and all. President Bush worked the crowd before leaving the rally and continuing on his campaign bus tour of the Florida Panhandle. When the crickets come out, the cars roll in. Okay, it's $10. Night is on its way and anticipation is building. You get two types of people coming in here. You get the type who have never been to a drive-in before. Then you get the people who used to go to a drive-in and now they want to come back to relive some of the old experiences that they had. Memories hang thick in the humid Mississippi air. A friend of mine worked here, a girl that I went to school with, and you'd have to go around to the cars and get the tickets, and that's what was our job. We used to come a long time ago when we was dating. At the old um, metal things you put in your window and you couldn't hardly hear for the static and if you didn't take it down you'd pull it off with you <laughs> take it with you <laughs> i would pile up a bunch of us and just come out and have fun everywhere a tangible connection between days gone by and memories still to make so many people oh i can remember when i was a kid and i want my kids to come out here to see it because um kids don't want to stay home because they want to watch movies too much <laughs> Finally, the previews are on and the show about to begin. Like there is a ghost right behind me, isn't there? This modern day drive-in offers all your old favorites like buttered popcorn. It also has a heavy dose of nostalgia and a few extra features you didn't have back in the day. In the older days, they used to run what we call second second feature thing that's been out for a while but now we're trying to run first runs and I think we get much better response on it. Are you here to see Scooby-Doo? Oh, you can eat? Mm. The film spins efficiently from the real projecting happiness to yet another generation of drive-in goers. They like this picture, crickets, cars and all. They're fierce, they're brave, and most of all, winners. Six of Mobile's best from Planet Gymnastics recently made their mark at the trampoline and tumbling national championships in Sacramento, California. All finished in the top 10 at their respectable levels. 
Trampoline specialist Trey DeFada plays second in the elite level. His reward? A trip to Colorado at the end of August for a chance to advance to the World Championships in Hanover, Germany. He, he's all around good trampolinist. I mean, hopefully, um, if he keeps on, um, hopefully we're looking for some big things out of him. And what about the danger? By the looks of it, these athletes are taking high risks and riding a fine line. When you get up to the elite level, they can go as high as 30 feet off the trampoline, and then you're looking at another four feet up under the trampoline, so you're talking 34, 35 feet in the air while doing, you know, multiple twists, multiple flips. Um, some stuff is really scary, and sometimes you just, most time you just gotta go for it. Now, all these athletes, as you can see, are aiming high. Possibly the Olympics one day? Well, why not? The average age of this group, 11 years old. And by the looks of it, the sky may just be the limit. I think in a couple of years they're going to have the um, Olympics on floor. They don't have it right now. And if they put that in the Olympics, then I want to go on that. My goal is to go to the Olympics and try to come in the top five. You know, I ask a lot out of them, and usually they perform for me. So I'm proud of them. I appreciate everything they do for me as much as I do for them.